What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally gameplay video for you guys today. And today, I figured we would try this World of Tanks game out on the Ally. We already did it on the Steam Deck OLED, and we're just working our way up because somebody actually requested it on the Alien War M18. But we're just working our way up from the weakest all the way up to the most powerful computers on this one. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game and let's hope that I can actually play it seeing as though I don't think it supports controller, but I'm hoping I can figure something out to at least get you guys some footage here. But in any case, like I said, no more wasting time. Let's get this hooked up to the capture here and see what happens. All right, so here's the settings we're gonna go with on the Asus Ally here. Wake up, we're moving forward. Hold on, I'm doing settings right now. We'll get to it. We gotta turn that off. I'm glad I noticed that. Try to turn that on on the Steam Deck too, but I don't think that's really necessary. But anyway, we also got V-Sync and triple buffering, all that turned off. I just left it at the normal field of view. And then it's it picked out the high graphics quality when I hit recommended. So let me try to, if I can. There we go. It's definitely not easy to uh, navigate and play this game with the uh, joysticks, but at least it's playable. Better than not being able to play at all. All right, so here we go. Getting ourselves a little bit of some gameplay on the ally. And it seems to do a damn good job. Even at 1080p here. From what I saw here, I didn't think there's any right, any reason to really go down any of the low resolution. You can if you want a few more FPSs, but this is more than playable FPS wise. It's just hard to aim, way harder than it was on the Steam Deck. Damn it, must aim. Screw you, get over here. Stop moving. Stand still like a noob so I can hit you. I mean, I have to stand still like a noob too, but still, makes it easier for me to hit when I don't have a damn keyboard and mouse. Still happy I can play though at all, instead of just making a video where it's like, well, all I can do is get into the game and do nothing, you know? They're thinking they want to die. Oop, I'm going the wrong way. I turned myself all around there. I'm like, why is it I'm going forward, I'm going backwards? Well, tanks can usually turn their turrets all the way around. I mean, I'm sure there might be exceptions to that rule, but... Scroll the mouse wheel to enter sniper mode. Yeah. Oh. I could have sworn I figured out how to do that on this ally during this gameplay video, but maybe I was wrong. Here comes the second. Hey, Rocky, leave me at least one, will you? That's the first I'm hearing you begging for a target. Oh, damn, did I say that out loud? Heck yeah. The bridge is blocked. We need to go around. So yeah, that's how you do it. This guy use R1 and L1. Got it. Just All right. Don't lose your head. A tiger we got some other people hanging close. around a church, it looks like here. And that's good. How many do I need to blast to finally earn my medal? Harping on your medal again. Are you only here for the decorations? I don't care about you one bit. I just want to send it to my mom to make her happy, you know. 
She'll show it off to all their neighbors. She'll be proud of me. At all right, last. cool. We got all those guys. Now, if I recall, there were a couple instances where it dropped under 60. But just barely. But mostly it's like FPS like this. Which is more enough for me in a game like this. My problem is I just can't aim worth a shit. A green marker shows you are aiming at a weak spot of the I'm trying to aim at his weak spot. You wouldn't be talking like that if you were trying to use this dang thing I'm using. The dang stick. But, like I keep saying, the game's not even made for it at all, so the fact that I can do this at all is cool. trying to just aim. That would be the bigger test. Just aim at it, Lucky. Ah, oh, had chance. Hit that shit. Do not move, you bastard. You stay right there. Alright. Now let's move on. Alright. Now for a little camera recording gameplay here. And it's definitely not easy to aim. The controller in this game seems it was designed for keyboard and mouse, but at least it's playable. Enemy 12 o'clock. Remember to move, Lucky, or they'll hit you in your weak spots. Or you can hide your hole behind tank wrecks. They won't get you at all that way. You've got a strong turret. shows you are aiming at a weak spot of the vehicle. I get that back. Lucky, get their sights in rear. I'm trying. It keeps on covering its weird because it's not stupid. <laughs> couldn't get in the round to his back, but at least we were all distracting it. So that's still a win. Alive! Brooks is alive! He's badly burned, but he's alive. I, of course he is. He's promised me a medal. You've got yours. Deservedly, I must say. Oh, yeah, that's right. tried that King Tiger to a crisp. Now, we're...
Nope, I don't want that. Alright, that wasn't quite enough camera for you, so I'm going to figure out how to get some more gameplay, and we'll be right back. Alright. Let's get ourselves a little more gameplay now. As it gets destroyed. zoom in and all that stuff. It's just aiming at an absolute bitch with just a joystick in this game. But at least it's playable. You just have to get good. that, I think that's plenty of camera recording gameplay. So why don't we go ahead and go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for World of Tanks on the Asus Ally. And other than being hard to aim without a trackpad, and even with a trackpad on the Steam Deck, it was still hard to aim. This game is mostly meant for a keyboard and mouse. But hey, you can at least play it on both of these. You just have to figure out how to get good with a, either a trackpad or a joystick. But at least frame rate wise, they were both more than playable, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure in a real game, you might lose a couple FPS, but I seriously doubt we're gonna like drop all the way down way under 60 or down into the under 30s or anything like that. So I think it should still be good. This is just one of those games. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't really wanna go into a game where a lot of people do know what they're doing and just have the game be, hey, I joined, I picked a tank. Let's go fight the, oh, I got blown up. All right, now let's sit here. Some games are cool and let me just watch other people. Like I remember there was this uh, Rainbow Six Siege game where I sucked and died like almost every time, but once I died, it let me just look at one of my teammates. So it was basically the same thing as getting you guys data and all that, so it was still cool. If it was something like that, I wouldn't care, but I don't know that for a fact. So that's why I just stuck with the easy noob stuff. I was, I went and looked and it was like, hey, beginner stuff? That's me, I'm a beginner. I'm gonna go right here. So in any case though, 
that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.